All right, guys, so I got a special video here today. One of my subscribers asked me to show our compressor and dryer and setup that we use here for our airlines, different dryers and what we're using here. So I'm gonna show you guys what we use and uh, stuff that I like to have. That way I know I can get a good job because your compressor is very, very crucial to having a nice paint job. You gotta make sure you have enough CFM it's got to be clean. You got to have a refrigerant to cool the air down and you want to have defi definitely other filters after the compressor. So that way you eliminate any kind of moisture and oil. So very, very important to have a good setup with your compressors. And you guys know I talk about that even when I was at home because it'll ruin the job and there's nothing you can do about it once that stuff gets trapped underneath the moisture and the oil will have problems while you're spraying. So I'm gonna show you guys what we got here today, just a little small video and what we're using. And uh, let me know what you guys do and what you guys are using for compressors and filters and stuff like that. So this is what we got and it works well. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing with. All right guys, so here's the compressor and it's a rotary screw. Nice setup, big, big one. And this produces for the whole paint shop here. So this does both booths. And then it also has the dryer that's built into this screw compressor here. So we have the automatic uh, purge for the moisture on it. That way it'll drain the tank for us. Every so often when that thing needs, it's on a timer, it'll drain that uh, tank for us to keep that thing clean. So the air comes from the uh, compressor, goes through the dryer, cools it off like an air condition. And that way it eliminates the heat. That way it cleans the air and keeps it clean from moisture. So we've got this, and then I'm gonna take you to our first uh, line of defense after this setup here. So make sure you guys get a drain on the bottom of your uh, filter, I mean your tank, and drain that every day if you don't have this timered one here that does it automatically for you. So I like these automatics. They work well, sometimes they get stuck, but they do do a good job because sometimes you forget to do that and you'll build this tank up with moisture and then uh, you'll have less air capacity because you got water in the bottom of the tank. So let's go show you what we got after this. All right, guys, so on the other side of the wall here, we got this Tsunami and this is a really nice system and it does, uh, you know, water, oil vapors and oil. So it's definitely a nice setup and that's by the Tsunami. So we have this running from the from the dryer out here and then it goes up you want to make sure you have your pipes going up to the filters that way it's less chance for that stuff to get up uphill than it is to get downhill so run them up hit your filters then come back down and now i'll show you the next line of defense all right guys so you see this line here this line comes from that room and runs along the booth wall and runs up here to another Devilbus Pro Air. And this one also has the moisture, oil, and then it has the desiccant. And then I come right out of here into my regular hose and I'm using the HVLP with the HVLP uh, quick connect on the end of the hose. So we use all high flow fittings and this one has the actual valve here. You can see it's oversprayed, but it's set to where I like it. And uh, that's what we do. So you wanna make sure you have the proper setup for your uh, dryers, refrigerants, and all that stuff for your compressor because it's very, very important. If your lines are dirty, you're gonna be spraying fish eyes onto the panel and putting moisture under the paint. So you guys know I told you last time I'm real uh, picky about having clean lines because once you get a dirty line, it's pretty hard to clean them out because that stuff gets through all the lines and so often you'll pick up that oil and, mo and moisture here and there through the job. So keep them clean and uh, get the right stuff in play. That way you have less problems and you don't have to worry about fish eyes. So these are, this is a pretty, you know, high end setup. There's ways to do it for the house to get a little bit, you know, cheaper and uh, do that but when you're doing this stuff on a professional level you got to have the right stuff because you have no time for chance when you're doing something like this so get the right stuff and uh, you guys should be successful so i hope you guys like this video just wanted to show uh, what i'm using one of you guys ask and here it is so see you on the next one